Hi, in this video, we are going to add these two fractions. We're actually going to add one over A plus one over B. And so what are A and B? Well, we don't know. Uh, we just know that they can't be zero. Otherwise, none of this would make any sense. But we do have to add these fractions. So to do this uh, solution, we're going to find a common denominator. And, and one way to do that is to just multiply the A and the B. So our common denominator is going to be AB. So our goal is to make the denominator, which is the bottom part, on both fractions the same. The goal is to make it look like AB. So starting with this first fraction, we're missing a B because we already have an A. So what you do is you multiply by B over B because this is allowed. We're basically multiplying by one. And it's just a clever way to put the B on the bottom here, you see, because now we can multiply B times A. That'll just give us AB. Same thing here, except here we already have a B. We're just missing the A. So we multiply by A over A. Now let's go ahead and perform the multiplication in both cases. B times 1 is B. And then here we have B times A, which is BA. But I'm going to write it as AB. It just feels better. Plus, I already wrote AB was going to be our uh, denominator over here. So same thing, though, right? Multiplication is commutative. These are numbers, so all is good. A times 1 is A. And then A times B is AB. And now we have the same uh, denominator, so we can just add straight across. B plus A over AB, which you can write as A plus B over AB, if you like. Or you can leave it you know, as B plus A over BA. Uh, it doesn't matter, but both are good. And that is it. That is how you add uh, these two fractions, 1 over A plus 1 over B. I hope it's been helpful. Take care.